This is Franklin, my Raider slider. You might have seen him once or twice in a video. He's a, I hate saying it, he's a free roam slider turtle. That sounds terrible just because it's so weird and sounds so dangerous, I guess. Um, should should you let your slider free roam? No, not really. <laughs> so Franklin's like 11 years old or something. I got him a year ago. Um, he was in pretty lame conditions, like a really weird diet. Um, apparently he kind of just lived off Cheerios and raw meat. <laughs> So Franklin was pretty much living between a 20-on enclosure and a baby pool. So when I got him, I realized he kind of liked just hanging out on the floor. So what I would do is each time his lights would go off at night, I would just take him out of the pool and let him kind of walk around, sleep under a blanket or something for a couple hours, and then I'd just put him back before I go to sleep. Uh, and then I had the wonderful idea to make him a ramp <laughs> because I was starting to let him out during the day too. And I would still just make sure he masks and gets his UVB and heating. But I wanted to see if he could actually kind of recognize where the water is, where he needs to go and stuff. So I made that ramp and he has since learned how to use it. He can get up and down both sides. He can get from the water to the masking to the room. And he actually knows the entire layout of the second floor. Like he can walk to the other side of the house and then find his water again. So it's pretty impressive, but um, at the same time, as you can probably guess, that sounds kind of dangerous. So basically, he has full roam to the room, and it's... Uh, I'm saying less about Franklin, because he's pretty manageable. The bad part is some of you have started doing it, and you're like, I think I'm going to free roam my turtle when I get one. And I'm like, please don't do that. But I can't say don't do that, because I do it. And then if I say no, then it's like, but you do it. It's so complicated. <laughs> so today I'm gonna try and win over my opinion as to why you should not let your turtles free room by telling you how much it sucks. So yes, when I walk into the room when I get home, I basically have a turtle greeting me at the door like a dog. <laughs> it also depends on how social a turtle is, I guess, but he seems to crave human attention for some reason. And on top of that, I tend to get a visitor whenever I'm working or editing or watching videos or whatever at the computer. He seems to really like to sit on feet. <laughs> He likes to sit on anything, he likes to climb things, be high up, and be on and around people. I don't know why, what is wrong with you? Even if that seems to sound enjoyable, there's plenty of negatives. For example, there's you, a lot of you ask me, oh, doesn't he pee and poop all over the floor? Yes, <laughs> luckily he poops in the water and only in the water, but he pees everywhere. You're gonna be stepping in little tinkle spots everywhere you walk all day and the tinkle, you become the tinkle spot. He'll pee on you, he'll pee on anything. So if for some reason you do want a sprinkler system in your room, don't worry, there's plenty of other downsides like the safety of the turtle. Depending, I mean, sliders start small. They, they aren't the biggest animal on earth. They can hide in places. They can chew on stuff, they can bite stuff, whether it's cords, um, sharp objects, dangerous objects, breakable objects, whatever it is, they can chew on them, they can try and swallow them. Um, they can even just step on stuff like, I don't know, what's something sharp in here? Like there's a pencil across the room, I should probably go pick that up. Cause it's pointy and sharp and who knows what it could do to his little feet. There's little things like that that you have to think about and it's kind of a pain. Other animals, luckily my, the cats don't do anything to him. There's really only one cat that comes into this room and he kind of just sniffs them and ignores them and that's it. And of course, one of the big things that you may or may not have thought about is basking, which is obviously really important for turtles. So Franklin had really bad, uh, what's it called, shell rot when I first got him. It healed up like dramatically. It's been great since then. But ever since he started having more access to the room, you can see there's little tiny spots. They haven't worsened at all, but they kind of stopped healing themselves. So that's kind of a little thing. It's kind of proof that he doesn't necessarily get as much basking. Luckily, when I put him into his basking spot on the ramp, he'll use, well, it's like half the time, he just does not want it at all. He would either jump in the water or climb back into the room. Uh, but then the other half of the time, he'll just sit there for like 12 hours straight and be completely fine. Sometimes I suck up to him so much that if he like sits by my feet or something, I'll just bring his lamp and UVB over. <laughs> this is why he's so needy all the time. He just knows that he's gonna get whatever he wants. I just bring the basking to him. But basically this isn't exactly something that I want thousands of people to be trying. 
it, it's 2 a.m. I'm shooting this at 2 a.m. I forgot what everything I was gonna say. Well, of course there is hydration, just being concerned that he won't get back to his water. Luckily I'm here a lot of the time so I can bring him back. And whenever I need to, I can just stick him on his ramp and see if he wants to go into the water or if he's good without. Uh, a lot of times he will go in the water. He'll swim around for a few minutes to a few hours and then he'll bask or go back into the room and chill out and walk around. And I guess he gets plenty of exercise. I don't know if it's as much exercise as you can get swimming. So I've never like done a test of that. I don't know how to track turtle calories. So basically you could say my life revolves around the turtle now because he is uncaged and can do whatever he wants. It seems very unconventional. If you couldn't tell what I'm trying to say is please don't free roam your turtle. Um, am I gonna stop free roaming Franklin? No, probably not. I've learned how to work with it. It's taken a lot of trial and error, a lot of time, and a lot of stepping on a turtle in the room because he sneaks up behind your feet. And I've just kind of gotten to know him well and know the environment well and what's safe and what should and shouldn't be on the ground. For example, he tends to bite things that are shiny, that are plastic, that are phones or technology. So just kind of keeping those clear while meanwhile he'll like, if you have clothing on the floor, he won't do anything to it. So I don't even know how that'll change turtle to turtle. And something I didn't even mention is how stressful this could be for certain turtles. Like we have a temporary map turtle with the Emerald Scales project you might have seen, and he freaks out, especially when he's outside of the room. So just because you think it's good to give your turtle a bunch of space to move around doesn't mean they're not hating it and stressing out. And stress is not something you want in a reptile, it's bad enough in people, even worse in our little cold-blooded pets here. But overall, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I do enjoy it, I do think it's cool to have a turtle just chilling out in the room and doing his thing, living his life, knowing how to get around and do everything he needs. But it's kind of freaky knowing that a lot of people are seeing this and they see him in the back of videos and they're like, hey, he's doing it, maybe I should do it. So this is kind of my little public announcement where maybe you shouldn't. I can't stop you. I'm, I'm not your mom, nor am I like, um, Okay, so here's my suggestion. Franklin seems to really love his life, I guess. He gets to do his thing. He feels very safe in the room. He really never shows any signs of stress. Um, I feel safe with him being in the room. I've really learned how to work with everything, but I have no idea how your room is or how your turtle is or your circumstances, so I don't wanna say it's okay or that it's not okay. Generally speaking, keeping any reptile in cage is gonna be quite dangerous seeing as they're generally from very exotic places and need very specific humidity and thermos, not thermostat and temperature and all this wonderful stuff. And then I don't know, who knows how carpet affects the foot of a turtle. It's, they're not naturally walking on carpet or how... So basically, would I free room Franklin again if I knew how it was gonna be? I mean, maybe, like probably not. I definitely wouldn't do more than one turtle because this is complicated enough and there's lots of unpredictable stuff here. But yeah, at the same time, um, I don't necessarily condone you doing this. <laughs> but I can't condemn you doing it seeing as I also do it. So just feel free to stay on the safe side and to follow proper instructions while caring for your slider. Okay, thank you, goodbye.